Hey guys, um, so this is video two of, well, part two of the I Love Craigslist trio. Um, if you have not seen the first one, uh, I recommend that you go check that out. I'll put a link to that in the description below. And when it is up, I'll put a link to the third one also in the description below. And obviously I won't need a link to this one because you're watching it already. But uh, anyway... Like I said in the first video, I will be going in order for, of the three from the least rare to the most rare. So this is in the middle. And this gun is still rather rare, but not extremely rare. Not near like a, it's not as bad, like as rare as like a crossbow, for example. Which isn't as, which is, isn't as rare as the third gun. So that'll be exciting. Um, this is the XXL Bazooka. Now, if you can't already tell, this is obviously from the 90s, judging by the fact that they added pretty much anything they could onto the side of it. It is probably the bulkiest blaster you will ever ever see in your entire life. Um, another thing, so there's like a stock here. Uh, it goes all the way around, so you can hold it like this if you want to actually try and hit stuff, or you can hold it like a missile launcher, which I find very uncomfortable because then the handle's like ridiculously close to your shoulder. So that's not very comfy. Um, lucky for me, I do have all three missiles for it. Two of them are kind of destroyed because I had my mom pick them up because it was way down like over 50 miles away from my house. and So my mom picked them up for me and she sort of left the other two guns on top of the missiles. So if you look, this one's got like a bunch of dents in it and stuff. There might be a way I can fix that, but yeah. Um, but I do have all three missiles, which is pretty rare, especially for missile gun things. Um, so I'm going to show you how you load this really quick. This lever, and you'll please take note of this area here. This is pretty cool. It's actually not cool at all. It's just super 90s. You push this forward. It takes about 10 to 15 cranks. Basically, you'll just run out of tension. And this uses a retention spring. So instead of, like, using air or something, this actually uses a plunger tube. And so you're pulling a spring back that powers the plunger tube. And then when you pull the trigger, it slams that forward, compressing the air and thus launching the missile. So really quick, I'll show you. I'm going to prime this. Here, I'll get this on camera. Oh, this one's not working. Hold on. I guess I'll go to this one. Wait. Wait for it. Mm -hmm. See that? That's pretty awesome. Wait, hold on, there's still tension. Okay, there we go. This thing's definitely cumbersome. But, I, please take note, this does have a, a bit of re recoil, which is sort of a hint into my next review. So please take note of that. It's, it, it's pretty awesome. Yeah. And ginormous. That is the XXL Bazooka by um, Toy Quest. I have no idea what that is, but apparently it's a toy company. You can see XXL right here. And it doesn't really say Bazooka, but it's still called the XXL Bazooka. So anyway, I'll see you in my next video. Hopefully you'll enjoy the rareness and awesomeness of it but it might be too awesome to handle so viewer discretion is advised <laughs>